Let's take just a few moments to talk about the general methodology for taking a law school exam. Now, there's a, a certain tone that you should have when you, you're taking a law school exam, and basically, you should consider that you're writing for a, a juror. Assume that you're, for argument's sake, an attorney who is in a courtroom, there's a jury in the jury box, they know very little about the law, they're, they, lay per, they're, they are lay persons, and your job is to take them by the hand and go through the process of showing them how the law relates to the facts of this particular case. Now, it's very important that you have a very um, uh, straightforward uh, methodology for this. And that includes using paragraphs. Paragraphs are very important when you're, when you're taking a law school exam. Make sure you, you keep uh, in mind that uh, when you, you, you have a complete thought, just like in English composition, you, you want to have uh, paragraphs for each particular thought. Skip lines. Do not write, you know, you're going to have blue books in most cases. Uh, of course, it differs if you're having a, uh, you know, it's the same basically if, you, if, you, if you're using your laptop. You want to skip lines. You want to make sure, excuse me, that you are not using uh, too much uh, content on, on one page. So what you want to do is skip lines. Uh, and write only one side, on only one side of the page. Do not write on the front and the back of the page. Just write on one side of the page in the blue book. Use very legible, neat handwriting. Legible, neat handwriting. I had a very uh, tough time early on learning how to, how to do that, and a lot of people do. Uh, fortunately, before I took my exams, I, I, you know, I, took some, uh, I was able to, to, to work that out. But uh, it's very important that you know how to and practice writing neatly and legibly. And of course, it's very important that you use proper English grammar. I mean, that, that goes without saying, but it's worth saying here. This is, you're, you're trained to be a, a lawyer, uh, and you are expected to use proper English grammar. Uh, we have the Iraq method, and, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, but the Iraq method, I-R-A-C, I-R-A-C uh, is uh, the common method by which we, we go through the process of answering uh, questions on in law school exams and basically I stands for issue or sometimes it's conclusions so sometimes it's the CRAC method but generally it's the IRAC issue rule of R stands for rule of law A stands for analysis or apply, apply the f law to the facts and C is for conclusion issue rule of law analysis conclusion that's the IRAC method When you are taking a law school exam, the critical method of taking the exam is spotting the issues. It is a game called spot the issues. It's very important that you understand that. So the first thing you want to do is say to yourself, where is the law? There was this old commercial, you may remember it, where the little old lady says, where's the beef? And the famous uh, hamburger commercial. Well, in, instead of saying where's the beef, we're saying where's the law? You're going, to, you're going to have a lot of facts. You're going to have uh, different characters. You're going to have dates. Where's the law? Find the, find the statement of law in the hypo and identify that. In other words, what is the legal principle or, or rule of law that is at issue? In your question, you're going to be asked to, to identify this, and it's very important that you, you do it early on. Uh, what's the dispute? What is the nature of this dispute? Well, you're going to have parties, you're going to, and you're going to have a, a wrongful act, and you're going to have an injury in, in many of these cases. Um, and what you're going to have to do is identify the parties. Who was hurt by whom? Okay. Second of all, wrongful acts. What wrongful act did A do to B? And there's going to be some sort of injury. What harm to B resulted from A's wrongful acts? Okay, so uh, you're going to be looking for, for these things in your, in your hypos, and uh, it's very important that you do this because this is, this is critical to, to issue spotting because the parties, the wrongful acts, the injuries, all of this relates to the points you want to score in, bringing about, in, in, in writing your answer. So it's very critical that you understand that. What is the legal subject? 
that arises from the dispute. In other words, what, what area of law are we talking about? Uh, are we talking about, uh, uh, are we talking about uh, uh, wrongful uh, touching? Are we talking about uh, a, a murder? Are we, ta- are we a homicide? Are we, are we talking about some form of theft? Um, we, or, or maybe we're talking about uh, breach of a contract. Maybe we're talking about trespass on someone's property. Uh, perhaps we're talking about uh, a violation of, of, of a statute. Uh, maybe we're talking about damages. What is the area of law that is the subject matter of this question that you're going to be asking, that you're going to be answering? What is the rule of law that applies to this dispute? Okay, there, there are certain principles that apply. In other words, uh, there, there are subcategories uh, in which you are going to be asked to identify how these, these principles of law and the subcategories apply to the facts that you have been given. And that, that's, that's very critical for issue spotting. Your, 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 your issue spotting is your accumulation of points. You're, you're trying to score points, and, and this is how you do it.